Hello and welcome back to Prayer of the Faithless. Um, you might have noticed there was a slight skip here <laughs> over certain things. That was because I recorded my previous video and the, we got to like 50 minutes and <laughs> there wasn't enough space left on the drive. So that's my bad. I apologize for that. But we just went into purgatory. We had some great scenes. I'm really sorry for that, but... Um, yeah, at least at least we're able to record and get this finale, but which I assume is a finale. Who knows? It could be more, but it has finale vibes to it. Um, yeah, so I'm really excited for this part. Um, it is actually pretty late at night, 12:30. I've been, you know, it's been an hour of me tonight just using what little have time I have during the night. But I'm just really sorry that we lost that episode. But um, I'll try and recover it the best I can. But it may not be possible. And I thought about re-recording it, but I wouldn't really be able to get my initial reactions to the cutscenes and stuff. It'll just be um, seeing it again. So I don't know. I'm, yeah, <laughs> I'm really sorry about that. I might re-record it, but hey. Amelie, Race, and Sarah, where are you? They all disappeared? That theme is cool. Guess I'm supposed to say it's good to see you again or something, eh? Probably should have gotten some food, maybe drinks. I'm still getting used to the power here in Purgatory, so sorry if I can't make a full spread just yet. Where are the others? Oh, come on. We have our long wait of reunion and you want to talk about other people? I'm heard that you would disregard me so blatantly. Is what I would say, but for some reason I'm not surprised in the least. There was no need to involve innocent people in this air. Please return the fog to the way it was. Where do you get off? Don't you dare spit a word innocent at me after what you've done. Why, Mia? I thought we were going to work together. I thought we had each other's backs. I really did want to tell you honestly, but you would never agree to kill Goran if you knew what would have happened. I didn't know any other solution. Say it, Mia. I want to hear the truth from your mouth. So when you started to leave before I could tell you the full story, I didn't have it in me to stop you. And the truth finally comes out. See, that wasn't so bad. Do you get it now, Mia? Look at what trying to save people have made you into. You've become the very thing you've dethroned. What about you? How long are you going to act like you're in some kind of bubble? You just keep doing your own thing, regardless of the impact it'll leave on others. Then when people get scared of the powers you fling in their face, you cry about being misunderstood. How is that fair for anyone? Don't take the high ground with me. They chased me out of Asur the night I became a revenant. I saved them and that's how they repay me? Are you going to stand here and look me in the eye and tell me that I'm the one to blame? You had plenty of chances to show good intentions, Ear. You could have helped people in need. You didn't have to be so antagonizing to everyone around you. Shut up, I'm not. Oh, what's happened? It's Goron. What the Goron? Ah, right on time. What? Oh, it was bait. You better believe this isn't over, Mia. But right now, do me a favor and keep this guy occupied for me, will you? Huh? <laughs> he just shoved her into a hole. Where am I? Did Air send me here? I thought this was where he came to originally. He can control the fog. He can move us around this place at will. We won't be stopped long before we be unstoppable. Makes sense. It makes sense. Mia, you make sense. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> this is a really cool little bit. I like this. A little bit of a change of pace. Oh, come on. <laughs> ah. A little bit scary. 
crap. <laughs> oh wow, that's pretty cool. I like that. <laughs> we jump off the edge, that's nice. Oh, here we are. This is the original place. I like this. This is cool. We're returning here. Heart of the Nightmare. Whoa. Oh no, a dead end. Nowhere to run. Well, maybe here comes the sacred day. You not lay a finger, it's here. Oh no, it's Emily! Everyone, how? Guess we ain't missing the main event after all. Heroes of justice don't ever die. Come on, me, I thought you knew that. So this is Goron's real body, huh? I've got an in-depth examination plan for you. Ea told us to come help Mia. Says Mia's too scared to fight alone. Everyone. Well, they're gonna help. Ea's and Mia's parties have now combined. Max inventory size has doubled and both inventories have merged. Excellent. That's fine. You ready, Mia? You know what, let's go everyone. And by everyone, I think I mean just Mia by herself because I think she's gonna do just fine attacking him by herself. Oh wait, never mind. Well, we'll see. 46, so 30, yeah, this should be good. And then, what's it called? Lunar Fist. Should do an excellent job. Focus and then uh, Ivory Flash <coughs> and then uh, Lunar Fits. So far, Cannon and Attack. Cool. Focus. Ivory Flash and Lunar Fits. That'll be good after that. I have the flash. And finally the, the great lunar eclipse. Mia defeated them with some meat shields, but mostly by herself. Yeah, come on. <laughs> uh, just how strong is he? For a dude bound in chains is putting up a heck of a fight. Is this the power of a true revenant? Sheesh, you really can't do anything without me, can you? <laughs> no way, eh? Yeah? Look at what I got, Goron. It's your soul, fresh and burning hot as when you first left it. It's time for a grand reunion, Goron. Welcome back. Eh, yeah, Mia. Oh, heck, the hole sealed up behind him. What are we going to do now? Guess it's up to them now. Quit lazing around, Mia. Get up. What? What happened? I need to thank you for being such a great decoy. You gave me the distraction I needed to get the others out of those traps. The others? Wait, you mean you... Don't act so surprised. I'm just doing whatever I feel like doing. In this case, I want to clear out everyone that could possibly get in our way. All that's left is... You know, I almost feel sorry for the guy. His body and soul are finally reunited, but it looks like they can't stand one another. So that means now he's nothing more than a hellspawn. All that's left to do is what I've always done to the hellspawn. Have I ever mentioned how much your flair for the dramatic gets on my nerves? I think it's one of my better qualities. Lighten the mood a little bit before going pitch black. You've put up with it for this long. Think you can do it for one last stretch? Fine, fine. Guess I'll try things your way for once. Makes sense. Okay, so let's do Ivory. And then uh thirty-three, that will be yeah, that'll be thirteen, right? 
And then, uh, I don't know. Unbridled Rage. Whoa. Mia, what you said before about how I was too selfish to see the suffering people around me. You were right. Yeah? I was too focused on my own goals that I blinded myself to the suffering people around me, including my own best friend. Okay, so we do need to help them out. I'm pretty sure, so let's... First aid. <laughs> Focus. And, uh, ivory on this. Rage was the bad thing. All I wanted was to protect the people I care about, people like you, yeah. That's why I fought so hard to save the refugees. I didn't want to just give up and let the fog and panic claim us. And I am but panicky without even realizing it. It's true. I think with this, like, this thing to do is to just, um, bloody coding. Lunar Eclipse. I think the monster seems to have come from his um, rage. From the rage of the world. We've both been trying to protect each other all this time, huh? I guess we've forgotten that somewhere along the way. Well, maybe we just don't have a dang clue about what the world protect even means. Haha. <laughs> Mia? Sorry, but it just now hit me. We aren't very good at what we do, are we? True enough. Doesn't mean we should stop trying, though. That's right. We've seen what happens to those who give in. And that's no real solution. Mia, are you thinking what I'm thinking? That this piece of trash is becoming a real eyesore and it's time to clear him out for good? Haha, <laughs> perfect. Oh, six actions per turn. Nice. <laughs> perfect partner. Nice. Oh, you get six actions. Lovely. Wait, um, 18, that leaves 16. Hey, that's pretty good. Um, then we Focus. Um. Joker trick. And attack. Nice. I'm a melt. Counter stuns. Okay, we can't use all the traditional physical attacks. We have to use magical attacks. Eternal Sulfur? Guys, what the heck does that mean? Um, so let's use, like, magic. Yeah, magic's a good one. Oh, the, oh that, yeah, the counter stance went down, so we can use Lunar Eclipse. Excellent. Sorry, I was going to use air for a second, but now I realize I don't have to again. Um, yeah, I'll have 16 left. We can use it. Oh, we don't. We can't use it again. We've already used it. Yeah, let's use... Um, oh, yeah. Sulfide Barrage. Wait. What, what are they weak to? Weak against Slash. So we have to use... We should awaken Nero. We really should. Um... Yeah, the Bloodstorm. Um. Yeah, focus on me. There we go. Force Break? Okay. Blood Rage? Okay. Fair. Focus. There, yeah, didn't do any damage. Thank you. Um. 33. Excellent. And then Lunar Eclipse. Goodbye, I think. Yeah, there we go. Hell, <laughs> yeah, this is nice. Oh, wow. He's burning with fire. So this is Goron's power. <laughs> this really hurts. It feels like millions of moon monsters gnawing away at my chest. Hey, looks like it worked. I wasn't sure for a second. What worked? Where exactly are we? 
Goron kept himself alive in purgatory by using his power to create a sort of field to keep the corruption away. I just used the soul fire I absorbed from him to mimic it as best I could, though I think I may have overdone it a little bit. Looks nothing like the field he set up. So what happens now? Since I absorbed Goron's power instead of destroying his soul like you wanted, I don't think I'll be returning back into a human anytime soon. That doesn't necessarily mean a bad thing, right? Guess I'm stuck like this forever, or at least I turn into a hellspawn. But I have no regrets. After all this time, I've finally taken my life back. Yeah, seems like a good turn for you. I refuse to sit here and die for you. I'm leaving Purgatory, and I'm going back up to the surface to live my life the way I see fit. Mia, we both know the world you want to save will never have a place for me. That's why I'll keep fighting until I carve one out for myself. You were everything I had always wanted to be. You were always so outgoing and confident even when everyone was against you. That's what first drew me to you. I was weak and scared and so jealous of your strength that I forgot why I joined the Knights in the first place. But that's all over now. I'm done trying to be someone I'm not. I'm no brave hero who can fix everything in this world. I'll always be afraid of the fog, the monsters, and of letting down the people I care about. But I won't let that stop me from trying my hardest. Even if I fail or if it's all prominent, pointless, I'll keep fighting until I'm dead. And that's why I won't back down from any threat to this world. Goran's power is fading pretty quickly. It looks like this place won't be sa safe for us much longer. It's time to finish this once and for all. That's what I'd like to hear. Let's go. Nice. Ever since I was chased out of Asula, finding you was all that mattered to me. So when I got the key from Emperor Dagor. I went straight for you. Nothing else mattered to me. Oh, why are you fighting her? This is strange. Why do you have to fight each other? I don't get it. Before we talk about how much you care for your friends, I wonder if it even crossed your mind while you were hunting down Goron. You talk so much about Luke and Trill, but how much do you care about them, really? As long as I kill Goron, I was sure they would be safe. They can't die from my asthma, and who knows how long Goron would keep the path up to him open for me. I saw the chance to take him out, and I took it. That's a nice way of going back on your assurances that they were the only ones that mattered to you. So that's it, huh? Dangle a prize in front of you and you lose little sight of what's important? The air I knew would never abandon those you cared about, that's why I... You've changed air, stop, time to stop running from who you are. This one is going to be a big attack, because this one always is. Wow, this one's going to be over the top. Yep. The end of the world can't be stopped. With my powers, I can survive whatever the fog throws at me. I'm not afraid of who I am, Mia. It's who you were all along? And I'll be happy to use this power as much as I need to survive. I'm glad I became a revenant, Mia. I am who I am and can't be more proud. Yeah, sure, sure. Sounds good. Sounds good to me. You said you were willing to make this work. You promised that we'd find a way together. I should have seen the truth right then and there. You lied to me then, just as you lied to me about what would have happened after dealing with Goron. What have you seen these people, Mia? Why do you care so much about them? <laughs> 
what's wrong, can't answer, or maybe because I'm right. Oh, Perry. Protecting the villagers was my only concern. I couldn't go on without them. I'm right, aren't I? We're the same, you and I. You just won't admit it. I never gave up on them, Aaron. I never wanted to give up on you either. You're the one who made it impossible for Ash to work, not me. It's much easier to defeat air with me than it is to defeat me with air. <laughs> just gonna say that. Mia might, M Mia might be the strongest character in the game. At least the way that I play. Or at least the way that it's turned out <laughs> in these experience levels and stuff. Let's end this here and now. Here I come here. This is quite a cozy cabin, isn't it? I always thought that if I were to live in a home of my own, it would look exactly like this. I guess you had the same idea, didn't you? You created this place after all. It's too bad I won't be able to enjoy this for much longer. I, um... It's okay, Mia. Go and say what you want to say. I just... I know that I have failed everyone, and I've made my peace with what's about to happen to me. But looking back at all the past choices, mistakes, and regrets, I can't help but feel a little pride. Despite nearly every choice I've made causing more harm than good, I was able to lead the refugees back to Asala. After learning of the horrible things Vanessa was doing, I chose to fight her instead of looking away. Even when you tried to force me off the throne, I held my ground and defied you right up until the end. All this while fighting off constant doubt, fear, and self-loathing. Not too long ago, you wouldn't have been able to pull it off. I think your attitude rubbed off on me in more ways than I'd like to admit. Even through everything I've done, even though everything I've done has ended in failure and I shouldn't feel this way, I'm still proud that I kept up the fight all the way to the end. It's okay, right? It's okay to feel proud of that, right? Yeah, you can hold your head up high, Mia. You've done more than most people could ever dream of. Another hug? Hmm. I know that's probably selfish of me, but can you please promise me something? I know you've been hurt by people over and over again. I'm not asking you to forget all that, but everyone's scared here. Human, mana, it doesn't matter. When we're scared, we don't act in a sound mind. So I ask you, will you please try to reach out one more time? If you try and the people are still bent on persecuting you, then that's that. But if they can see the same thing I see in you, then maybe... You don't seriously think they'll turn around for someone like me, do you? After all, I'm the revenant that killed the Queen of Asala. All I ask is that you try. Will you do that for me, yeah? Okay, Mia, for you, I'll give it one more shot. Thank you. You really are... the best. Wow. It fell. It's gone. Air, yeah, air is okay. I can't believe it. You're alive. Where's Mia? We saw what happened. So Mia's okay. So Mia's truly. Yeah. Grayson, this was harder at home than any of us. But... It... 
Let us disperse for the day. We can reconvene tomorrow. Fine. Yeah, true, let's give him some space. Consumed by the consequences of his own actions, Ear's heart has plummeted to the depths. He's become faithless. Ah, yes, the prayer of the faithless. Wait. Just get, just get out of here. I don't want to be in the blood city. I don't want to be in your blood city. Blood man. Wait, what? Okay, maybe we don't leave just yet. Oh, this is a house. I'm sorry, yeah. Just gonna check one thing. I could tell from the moment Mia let you out that she didn't tell you what would happen if you had killed Goron. I should have said something then. But every time I was going to, I got this sickening feeling in my stomach. I was terrified of what you'd do if you found out. I wonder maybe that was how Mia felt too. Still I failed you. If only I was brave enough to say something, maybe we could figure out another way. Just don't carry all the guilt on your shoulders. In the end, we were all accomplices to this. To me, you'll always be a good person. A good person in a cruel and unforgiving world. Okay. This reminds me of Soul Sunder. Save. To the end we go. You got a lot of nerve showing your face in front of me. What? You expecting some kind of support from me? You must not have been paying attention. We're all better off without you around. You do nothing but kill and destroy wherever you go. Mia was the one chance humanity had at pulling themselves together. Mia had the heart, the kindness, and the willingness to put herself in front of people to lead them to safety, and you killed her. Get out of my face. Looking at you makes me want to break every bone in your body. Well, harsh. Fear the Revenant, the vanguard of ruin. I delivered that prophecy so long ago, and now it's come to fruition. It's strange, though. Here I am, looking into the eyes of the mythical monster, fated by prophecy, to destroy the world, and yet I don't feel the slightest tinge of fear. Fear, huh? We aren't so different, you know. It may have been for different reasons, but we're still feared by the people. I think Mia was a victim of that same fear as well. It was that fear, I believe, that led to events playing out the way they did. That's why I don't hold any ill will towards you, Ear. Instead, I pity you. I truly, truly pity you. Interesting. Air. Yeah. Why is Air silent? Why, Mia was Air's friend, yes? Mia, Air cre cared for Mia, yes? So Air should be crying too, why not? When Trill was alone, Air was there. Air mean, cranky, and yells a lot, but Air was there. So Trill will be there for Air. Give Air what Air gave Trill. Air, we need rest now. Go to sleep. Trill will keep watch. Okay. Is it sleep time now then? Sleepy timey. I don't know where a beard is though. Which place which place is beard place? Where do I lay my head? Oh, over here? No? Oh, in here? Yeah, let's go to sleep. So I ask you, will you please try to reach out one more time? Reach out to people? How am I supposed to do that now? Unless... Morning, Air Howard. So what do we do now? While the source of the fog has been destroyed, I can't even begin to estimate how long it will take for the fog left in the world to dissipate. But I can say with certainty that without Vanessa or Mia to hold it together, Arsla won't start, survive long enough to see a fogless world. 
Guess there's nothing left for us to do but wait out to the end. End? What end? What is Luke talking about? There must be more, yes? Another enemy to fight, another friend to save. This not feel like ending, this stop trill, just stop. With her last words, Mia put one hell of a curse on me. Try to reach out to people one last time. What kind of request is that? You're not seriously thinking about trying to honor that, are you? Yeah, we will. Trill not understand. It wants to try being hero now. Hero, oh please, I'm just fulfilling Mia's last wish in my own way. Mia wanted to evacuate everyone still alive to Kakuri, but that ignores the problem of why the fog was created in the first place. Miasma, purgatory, humanity's cowardice, they all come together to create the perfect storm that is the fog. We've traveled around the entire world and seen both Arslo and Virgio's sorry states of being. The way I see it, there's one common thread tying them both together, so I'm going to sever that thread. Trill not understand, it must make more sense, the thread is so sorry, not for people. <laughs> what is this thread you're referring to? I'm a revenant, right? So it's t I think it's time to do what a revenant's supposed to do. I'm going to bring it into this world. I'm going to destroy Asala. There won't be anything left when I'm done with it. If the people want to survive the fog, they'll have no choice but to evacuate to Kakuri. But how will they do that? Without Mia, there's no one who could rally the people in time. No, there is one other person. You speak of Vanessa? Bingo. What are you all doing here? Oh, please. We're the only things alive in this town. We could be asleep in a closed-off cabin and still overhear you. Of course we'll have to bust her out of jail before anything else, but once she's out, I'm sure she'll work with us to lead the evacuation. And if she doesn't agree? Like I said, I don't plan to stop her till there's nothing left of us. Alone. I believe that Vanessa will cooperate. She's willing to do anything to do what she believes is best for the people, and ignoring a direct threat of the Revenant would put them in unacceptable danger. What's your angle here? Trying to win back favor after threatening to destroy the world? I'm not doing this to be forgiven. I know that'll never happen. Mia asked me to try and reach out to people one last time. This is how I plan to do it. Anyone who disagrees is welcome to step up and try and stop me, but don't expect me to just take it lying down. Trill has decided wherever air goes, Trill goes. Trill was there for air when Trill needed the air most, so Trill will return the favor. I'll go too. I'm not sure I can trust Vanessa to agree to this plan. If she tries anything, I want to be there to fight back. Indeed, as her friend, I wish to assist her with evacuating the citizens. That is why I'll accompany you. So after all this, the last prophecy is going to come true after all. Then as the oracle who spoke the last prophecy, I want to be there to help you change it into that, into one that can give people hope. That's why I'm coming along, no matter what anyone says. I want to protect my daughter, so long as you ain't going to do anything to her, that's good enough for me. Sounds like we've got a plan. Let's get moving, we're going to Asala. With nothing left to lose, air has fully embraced the power of the Revenant within them. We've got Infernal Thorn. Let's save beforehand. Okay, and that's the end of this episode, which is short because I just don't want to corrupt the file. And we'll see you next episode, which I'm recording right now.